Here is a marvelously successful idea to stop bullying. The approach can be used to prevent bullying in classrooms, reduce bullying school-wide, and can even stop bullying behaviors in homes and in communities. The key is to approach the motivation of bullying. Start with sharing the levels of development that describe bullying behaviors as part of level B, bothering or bullying. Then, share the lesson I used as a teacher. This lesson on bullying can be used in any circumstance to reduce bullying behavior. Use a ruler or book and hold it flat so viewers see only the thin edge. Announce that it is like a teeter-totter or a seesaw, and this is how it looks when it is balanced. People who are getting along and making responsible choices keep it in balance. However, when a person starts to pick on or bully someone else, the teeter-totter gets out of balance. The person who is picked on usually starts to feel lower than the other person. This is a normal reaction. However, if you reflect on the motivation of the bully, it is the bully who initially feels sorry because of a desire for attention for power, to feel superior, or wants to be above the other person. Otherwise, there would be no reason to bully. So it is the bully who is the first one to feel inferior, who has a problem. The bullying behavior is actually an attempt to pull others down to the, bullying be to the bully's behavior, to try to bring things back into balance from the bully's perspective. This discussion opens the ideas of the bully because it explains motivation. The person is a problem. No one wants to be known as someone who has a problem. To help refrain from bullying, have participants take a piece of paper and crumble it up. They then unfold the paper and try to smooth out the wrinkles. People quickly observe the impossibility of their efforts. The point is quickly made that the scars would never go away no matter how hard trying to fix them. So here's a tip. When a person bullies another person, the bully may apologize to the bullied, but the scars still remain. And again emphasize, the point is that the bully has a problem. Otherwise, there would be no reason to bully. No one wants to be thought of by peers as having a problem. More insightful tips on how to manage stress and improve relationships are available at withoutstress.com. You will learn how to manage your mind, reduce your stress, and increase your joy of life. Thanks for watching and sharing this video. Until next time, live a stress-free life and visit withoutstress.com.